Benitez sacked after 195 days, says the mirror. And Everton want Roberto to replace Rafa. Uh, but Lampard, Jose and Rooney are still in the frame. Now, I, I always go off, I'm sure we all do this, you go off, I believe you know, and how they're reacting, don't you? And my mate is absolutely, he, he, like, he, he put on our group chat last night, I feel like I'm living in an alternative universe. Is, it, is this the blue mate who I know? Colin, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was just like, you know, he said, I don't <clears> get why you would want to bring back a manager to a team that can't defend. When last time, when he was at Everton, he proved as a manager, as far as he's concerned, that he, as a manager, couldn't get a team to defend. Funny enough, I've, I also have a blue mate, and uh, he referred me to something that was on social media, literally what Colin was saying about, you know, it, it, it's like some social experiment. Not to go all Buxton, are you? Uh, <laughs> One for the kids. One for the kids. Um, it's mad. I just don't get I just don't get it. I understand why, they, why it's not worked out. I understand why they've sacked him. But literally three days after they've sold the left back because of the manager. And like a, a, month, director. a month after they've got rid of Marcel Brands, yeah. like you're either in or you're out. And it just, I don't know. I don't know whether it's reactionary or just lack of leadership or whether, you know, there's this thing between Mashiri and Ken Wright's still there and there's, there's no joined up thinking. And, yeah. and the next question is, I mean, look, are they going to go down? Probably not. Even if they kept Benita, well, if they kept Benita, probably not. So what, what's the next move? The fact that they're like thrashing around for someone who they sacked. There's no obvious exactly. plan. No, the, the, Again. The, 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 there is not. So what now? So Benitez is going to cost them, I don't know, he's on a three-year contract, so let's just say there's a the, the significant payout there. He had their hands tied in the transfer market, as we, show, uh, transfer market, as we saw in the summer anyway. Because they'd spent because so much they'd spend money. Because they'd spent so much money. So we'll give it to Doug to the end of the season. Is that, is that the answer? I mean, I, I know there's talk about... You know, old Mourinho is the whole thing about Benitez that his tactics were outdated and he's, and he's gone stale. Well, I mean, hang on a and minute. You've had Ancelotti and you've had Benitez now and you've had the young manager and Ancelotti. you've had Duncan before. How's Carlo getting on? Oh, top of the league in Spain, isn't he? I mean, is there a common denominator? Yeah, knowledge? it might not be the managers, it might be something else. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the. Uh, you say about the league table, and I mean, they're just, um, you know, the two places off the relegation zone currently. The league table's a bit of a mess, if I'm being honest, because of all the COVID cancellations. So you've got Burnley currently bottom, but they've only played 17 games. So, so they've only won one all season, by the way. But should, should they manage to win their two games in hand on Everton, uh, they would only be... The, no, hang on. They were going to be two points. And then you've got Newcastle as well. Who spent money and who just a nearly what, like literally last minute equaliser at the weekend and as o- well. And obviously Everton helped keep Norwich in the hunt <coughs> for safety by by losing to them. Uh, I mean, as ever. I mean, I always think you know if you're going to read about Liverpool or Everton, uh, Joycey in the Times is probably one of the places you should be turning to. Um, and look, you know, this isn't a podcast about Everton, but they're in the same city as us. As we've just said, we've got mates who are Evertonians, family who are Evertonians in some case, all of that thing. And it's literally the headlines. Like, just in case there's any blues subscribing and they think I'm obsessed or something. But uh, Anyway, so Joycey's done a big piece. Re- Everton's troubles ingrained. Rafa had impossible job, is the headline. Uh, just to pick out a few little bits from his piece, he says, one win in the past 13 league matches, obviously culminating in Saturday's debacle away to Norwich City constituted a worse record than the damning sequences that prompted Mashiri, the owner, to jettison many of the Spaniard's predecessors. Uh, he also says about the fan, there was a fan, a grown man, who ran onto the pitch and uh, will now be facing a banner order. I uh, hope that was worth it for you, mate. I mean, it's probably made up, to be fair. I mean, just don't go to Goodison or, or go to any of ways, mate. I mean, running on the pitch and getting yourself in trouble with the law. A bit mad. Uh, Everton, as I say, currently 16th, as Josie points out here. And Josie says they are sleepwalking into a relegation battle, having won six points from the past 39 available. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, they have conceded the first goal in 16 of their last 22 games in all comps. Uh, and then the big one uh, the club have not won a trophy for 27 <coughs> years now. 27 years. Uh, and have squandered £500 million on transfers since 2016. 
All right, the Reds, to enjoy the rest of this video as well as all of our premium content, just click on the join button below and join our YouTube membership. You'll get all of our exclusive content, including our match previews, our post-match reaction, our exclusive interviews, and all the transfer chat about who is coming in and out. So yeah, share the journey with us, supporting Liverpool from the heart of the city. We're home, we're away. Come and share it with us, up the Reds.